Hello, welcome to Pop the Sunny Acres. I'm Bill, back here in the workshop, and uh, we're going to start taking uh, high lift 4.0 uh, apart. This is going to be part five, and uh, we're going to take this apart, get it ready uh, for painting. And so come along as we take this. Uh, I'm going to start off uh, just, I talked to you in the last video about this uh, carrier here and how I, I kind of changed it up with uh, uh, different ro roller bearings. And I just wanted to show those roller bearings to you exactly uh, how they're set in there to work the best. And uh, I'll take this off, they'll probably all fall off of here because they are not welded on. But if you take a look here, I've got them on and I've got the, the raised part of that is towards the outside of the lift. And that seems to be working really well. Um, it makes for a smoother operation. And so uh, that's, that's the first part of that. We'll set these roller bearings aside so we can get this all painted up. Let me set them over here. And then what I was gonna do was check the welding on this. And uh, if I need to do something different, I'll get it touched up. And then also, uh, same thing for, for the main lift part. We're gonna go ahead and disassemble the, uh, the wheels. Everything on here, we're gonna strip it down uh, to just the iron, where we can get that painted. Um, I might leave the uh, axle in there. Uh, just to, and, and just, I can wrap that with, or actually I can actually paint the axle, so that'll work there. And so, let's see, one of the first thing we'll do here is we'll disconnect here. Phillips, disconnect the battery down there. We went out this morning and hit a bucket of balls. Uh, I'm a terrible golfer, but I still enjoy the game. So uh, let me know if you you're a golfer or if you're a scratch golfer or if uh, you just like me, like the game, and, and uh, I'm not going to tell you what I shoot because it's horrible. Get off there. I haven't really had a good chance. I've uh, taken heavy lift on this, and I think I, I've done over 40 on this charge on the battery, but uh, I was a little concerned because um, I had done some practice things with it uh, right after I got, got it wired up, and it seemed like it was dying out really fast, and I think it wasn't so much dying out fast as it uh, I didn't really get charged on that battery the first time. I'm going to take off our handle set here and set it aside. Hopefully that will pull out of there better than it, uh, it went in there. It's, uh, today is September the 20th and uh, woke up this morning and it was in the uh, upper 40s, but uh, you can sure tell it falls certainly in the air now and, and uh, we're bracing for winter.
got to thinking, um, when I originally put this wire in here, it was long enough to reach down there and uh, pull through. I'm going to have to do something different when I pull this back through this time because that wire is no longer going to be long enough to reach all the way through there. But that seemed to slide in there and out pretty well. We'll set these aside. I just uh, finished up my second round of Apigard uh, treating the bees out there and uh, getting, getting the bees ready for winter. I've fed with some sugar syrup. Um, I've got an observation hive that I just did my sixth round of acetic acid. I do uh, seven rounds at uh, um, intervals of four days each and make sure I get the full 28 days for uh, um, the drone, drone cycle since those are the ones that carry the most uh, varroa they lay in those cells the most and so got that taken care of honey is all done uh, next thing on my list when I get uh, caught up is to take in uh, treat or treat uh, start rendering wax uh, I've got all the wax cappings and then also the wax scrapings that uh, from working on the hives this year so uh, I've got quite a bit of wax to, to render yet This is the uh, relay that uh, sends signal to the, uh, the winch motor to uh, go in or out. Crescent bridges. I was paying attention, I would have uh, brought that cable in a little bit, but that's okay, it didn't hurt nothing.
I think I'll leave that uh, other mount up there. That uh, the pulley hooks onto. I'm just going to paint that with everything else. Set this aside. Which motor? Let me know if uh, any of you have been inspired to try and build your own hive list from the videos. And if so, uh, I'd love to uh, see your, your hive list and maybe we can kind of compare notes there and stuff. Bit of a burr on here. I don't want to come off all the way.
There's no motion between metric and standard. So that's kind of stripped down to the, well, I guess everything but the wheels are going to have to pull that battery out of there now. And, uh, again, the main thing is to go over all the wells, make sure they're, uh, I've got it welded down properly. And, uh, then, uh, I'll grind those welds down, uh, double check them again for, uh, soundness and then uh, ready for paint. That's everything there. The wheels. I don't know about you guys, but I do love the fall. Uh, such a beautiful time of the year. Uh, weather's cooler. Uh, mosquitoes around this neck of the woods are starting to uh, lose out. And so you can have pleasant times outside without those. The only problem we have is right now we've got the, the flies that come into the house and, and uh, warm you. Just about get the end of what you need for, for welding. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the video here uh, and uh, we'll do the welding and uh, grinding in the next one and, and, and probably a, a painting video. Uh, anyways, if you uh, like this video, hit the like button, um, share it, and uh, make some comments. Uh, uh, let me know if this is your favorite time of the year and, and uh, uh, if you like Kevin Parks better. So anyways, uh, till, till next time, take care, and we'll see you soon.